I'm trying new things today. I am making some unboxing videos featuring projects I've gotten off of Amazon. <laughs> Bless you. First, I have a culinary torch from Kalia. It's a light torch. Basically mean it's small and petite, durable, but portable, easy to handle. A lot of them are now, but this one, first of all, it's really pretty. Let's get all the packing out of the way. There's not actually that much packaging in the box. It just has the um, plastic bit on top. Came in a very small Amazon box, so it didn't bounce around a lot. Um, but there wasn't much packaging in there to protect it. However, it's super shiny and doesn't appear to have been damaged. Hopefully, that's the case with all of them. It announces happily it's a butane torch, in case you couldn't tell. I suppose it kind of looks like a tiny, super high-powered hairdryer. But I would hope no one ever tries to use it for that, because that would be very, very, very... It's not good. Not good smells there. It does not come with a butane fill, so I can't show you how it works. Probably good they don't send that in the mail, but you know... All right, however, this pretty little thing has a locking mechanism. So when you're ready, you can adjust it from small flame to large flame. Of course, when first doing it, it's recommended it's in the middle between. And when you're ready, you push the button. You can then use it with baking and cooking to top off your creme brulee and get that perfect crackly crisp touch on the um, top of the sugar coating to light fires of course and also with art um, with epoxy and resins to help get the air bubbles out and when you're doing acrylic pour paintings to not only get some air bubbles out but to help develop the cells that really make the pictures pop um, it's got a function on the top First of all, if you lock it when it's not in use, you can't hit the button. So it can't be accidentally turned on as long as it's in the locked position. If you hit the button, get your flame going, and then lock it, it will continuously put out that flame so that you can do your sweeping across the pictures or the food to get everything to harden or the bubbles to come out, whatever you're using it for at that time without cramping your thumb. It kind of seems silly, but no, really using this as an application for art and things, your thumb tires out real quick that way. So that's real handy to have. Hopefully I can get a butane pack and uh, find out how well this baby puts out, but I have seen a few people using it and it, it looks like a really good tool. I'm excited to be able to use this for my paintings. And again, this is from Kalia. I will put their hashtag in and I will put their link down below on Amazon. It was a really good deal. Um, it looks and feels great. I am honestly excited and curious to see how it works.